Hi guys, Ozzy Griffin here. Hope there's enough light on this side of my face. So, Echoes of a Life Well Lived. Uh, the review has been overdue for a while, uh, and I've only got myself to blame. I had some stuff with Centrelink I had to take care of. However, any time something like that is even coming up, I basically get paralyzed. I, I can't move from my cushy seat over there to sit in front of the camera, and it's a long story. Anyway. Something else, however, came up, and I've literally, in a day or t last couple days, and I've literally had to push through a wall of almost grief and rage. I was watching a debate uh, between three different scientists uh, doing three different fields, and a bloke by the name of, Ke uh, I think it's Kevin Hoven, the senior Hoven, the one who has a doctorate in something. Um, anyway... This fella has this so-called debate, and he, at about 1 hour 36 minutes, I'll just, link's in the description uh, box with the timestamp, um, he blames several, two or three school shootings, this is before Elliot Rogers, so he doesn't include, anyway, narcissistic personality is that guy's shtick. Um, he blames two or three school shootings, including Columbine, on evolutionary biology being taught in schools. I'm not making this up. And Stalin and Hitler on evolutionary biology. I'm not going to get into a rant about how Stalin and Hitler believe more in eugenics, human-directed evolution, uh, which if anyone ever looks into it, was <clears throat> really just a pretense uh, for getting rid of your political enemies under a different name. And both of them were pretty unabashed about doing that. You know, of all the Dawkins-style new atheist guys, they got one thing right. When people use dogma, religious and otherwise, to cloud any issue, especially ones of mental health, where people feel so rejected or in superior or uh, just hurt that they go out and inflict pain and suffering on others for no other reason than to dramatize their own sense of inadequacy. Which is, in a manner of speaking, a cry for help. Anyway. Let me tell you. The last thing you want to do is blame the victim. And Hoven pretty much blamed the victim. And then he blames the society for teaching one scientific theory. And not, uh, what do you call it? for blaming them teaching one scientific theory and not saying these people had issues and needed help. Because the real harm in people like him with the surprisingly big audience they have peddling ideas like this and the surprisingly big amounts of harm it does is that it harms people who are suffering because they're not going to get given help by religious friends of theirs. They're not going to get shuffled off to a shrink where they can do some uh, CBT, Cognitive Behavioural Therapy, and examine why they feel as, as they do. And they're not going to... And the community isn't going to stop and say, you know, maybe we need to treat people better so that there aren't so many people out there who feel their own resort, resort to being heard is the sound of a rifle. And you're not going to get people who are going to say, I don't agree with the idea of evolution. Maybe I believe in alternative theory of evolution. Maybe there's something different. However, they're not going to say, let's be more empathetic to these people. They're going to look for a boogeyman and waste time going after that instead of going for the first two, after the first two problems where they'll actually have some benefit when they change things. So yeah. 
it's delayed me from making a video in that I just had to deal with how angry this guy was and really just sad. Anyway, I'm Mozzie Griffin and the next video will be Echoes of a Life Well Lived by Richard M. O'Brien, a review.